Okay, hello everyone. I'm just gonna adjust my mic. Um, I'm gonna be showing you how to just make better uh, 3D text. I've finally figured it out. And I have um, an After Effects friend, Mirage, um, who's also rich on Discord. Um, he gave me the After Effects textures, so it comes in handy, okay? So I'm gonna basically try showing you how to make the like Gojo kind of texture. If I can go back. Yeah, the kind of like Gojo text to here. Um, I'll also show an example in the preview, so... Right now I have an empty event. Uh, you can use a clip or whatever you like underneath, but I'm using an empty event so far. I'm going to do it from scratch, because I did save myself some presets. For example, on Molob Zelos, Sanchez, I'll be doing touch on these as well. Actually, I'm going to do it all together. That seems like a better idea, so tutorial. So we're going to get the default preset. Uh, the font and stuff is going to be different depending on like what you used previously on it or if you just haven't used it at all. But anyway. If I can load it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna make it so it's not outlined. I want it normal. There we go. I'm just gonna zoom it out a bit because this is way too big. So I have other tutorials on VCC Title Studio, so... I'm not going to explain it too much, I will kind of just explain the gist of things. So this is where you get all your textures. You got, you're going to want to stay on metallic textures um, for the Gojo text, and I'll, I'll show you why at the end. Um, but first I'm going to change my font to Hampston, because that's usually the font he uses. Um, alphabet. Come on. <laughs> uh, there we go. Hampston. Change the font to Hampston. And I'm just going to use, we'll put Gojo for now. Make sure it's in capitals as well. Okay. So we're just going to use one image. Um, we're not going to add text just yet. We're going to animate it. So you see the settings at the side here where you can drag it left and right. Uh, with spin Y, tumble, rotate Z like that. So you're going to animate those by clicking on the square here and pressing deaccelerate. And then to move it from side to side, you also press deaccelerate up here. You ignore position Z unless you want to like zoom it in and out, but I'm not doing that. So we're not going to touch that. So I want it to appear like from the side to the middle. And you can see that when I'm moving it like this, it's moving the position Z panel so you just have to keep changing that to zero because z makes it more towards the camera and it just messes up the letters so you want to change that but anyway i'm going to start off with it over here lower the position z to zero uh might make it this way if you want the text to be bigger and more 3d you have to do this at the beginning you can increase the exclusion however much you want I don't usually make it this big. I'll do it around there. That looks okay. And you actually want to make sure this has no bevel as well. So it's just a normal 3D text. So yeah. Up the extrusion and no bevel. Okay, now we're going to animate. So I'm just going to do it a bit. And then you're going to go all the way to the end. Click on the little frame here. If you wanted it to like do like more than one animation like it zoom in like it, it come in if I can click on it like it comes in at the top and then it separates at the end like that then you can just make a second keyframe but I'm only doing it to the end here okay so I'm gonna change the values to the opposite value just however much you want it I can't select this for some reason. Okay. 
Okay, this is this is annoying me. Okay. Right, yeah, okay. I wanna up here, around here. Make sure the Z distance is zero. So it goes like that. I might rotate it less. Cause I don't want it rotated that much. Maybe just like this. Yep. And then make it more that way and more that way yeah that looks good okay now we're gonna gonna see what uh, now we're gonna do o for go joe um i'm gonna make it appear probably from down here again change the z make it the opposite value because i just copied and pasted it so you don't want the same rotation values and stuff I might add the same rotation. And now we're going to go to the end and drag it next to the G. Again, Z. And then make the values opposite. Because I copied and pasted it. Okay. Like that. Okay, now this is the easy part. You just copy and paste the first animation change it to G and now I'm just going to move it over to where I want it zero zero okay um I want it to come from up here maybe zero yep and then I'm gonna animate the like, duplicate the Z the O make that come from this end can't click it. Wonderful. Make that go here. Zero. Yeah, that's annoying. I can't move it. Okay, let's move it over here. So you can position it like this as well. Yep, there we go. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Okay. So you have your basic animation, right? Now we are going to duplicate every single one, like every single letter. And try not to get too confused. You just have to remember. So you have two of each, right? Now our every top letter, this kind of works as layers. So we're going to use the top layer of every word and change it to border style, which is like this. Oh, quick thing, I forgot to mention this at the beginning, but what we're going to do is right click scene 2D composite, switch to 3D render. Should have done that at the beginning, I'm sorry, that was that was my bad. Anyway, change first letter, every first letter to uh, border style. Border style. Border style, okay. Because on Gojo, it's like the outline is going to be all blue and then the middle is going to be black. So what we want to do is make the middles black first. And thankfully, you should be on metallic textures. It's so going to go down. There's Chrome. So you're going to click on Chrome. Chrome, And I'm just going to double click Chrome on every second letter. To make the process easier. So it turns out like that. Now, I'm going to go to the textured lands and then click on image. So you just like click down and this pops up. Image file. And I have a textures pack in the description with a bunch of textures that friends gave me. But I just want it to be like black. So what I might just use is literally just a black image. So it's black, you know, you don't have to use anything. Um too much so you're going to do this for every single second letter make sure you have the folder i pinned it so it's easier to find just close it uh, textures images images there we go okay so this is how it looks like now pretty good if i think if i think so 
Okay, and now we're gonna add Chrome on the first letters again. But the first letters this time, not the second one. Okay, so now we're going to go to the first letter, images, textures, and we're going to choose uh, the basic 2K underscore 2K. It's also in this folder, I believe. Yes, it is. So I'm going to click that one, and that's the one Gojo usually uses for his text. Uh, I had to redo it because it crashed, but I've basically added Chrome on every first letter that's outlined and now I'm going to add the texture. So you're going to go image file, uh, textures, basic 2K02, uh, like this. So you're going to add that on every first letter. Uh, there we go and now just for some extra effect I'm gonna uh, go to the outlined letters go to extrusion and now I'll up the bevel so you can see the outline so we're gonna do it on every first letter just until it's something you like. Okay, there we go. And now we're going to go to 3D render scene. And also, if you want, you can make it time accurate or frame accurate. I'm assuming frame is like the clips. Um, like the clip, the amount of clips on the frame, the frame on the clips, or whatever the fuck. So we're gonna get to lights, and you can see that there's this light that you can drag above 3D text. I need more room. There we go. And you can make it go like this. But you can also make it like closer to the text or away from the text. And what I'm gonna do is make it go more closer to the text, like this. which is the distance. So if it's farther away, you can barely see it. If it's, this is now like behind the text and this is like in front. So I think that's how I want it to look, but we're gonna animate the location with the accelerate and I'm just gonna make it go from the left to the right maybe to here I'm gonna press apply and now it's gonna appear like this I'm just gonna put it on half so it's kind of meh right now so I'm gonna twixter it so it can be smooth so I'm gonna go frame twixter which is basically set the frame to zero, you're going to animate the frame number instead of the speed and I'm just going to... okay that's... no... 20 frames, 16, 17, 18, 19 so this basically depends on the number of frames in this clip or event I'm going to drag it to the end I'm just going to graph it like this. Okay. So this is how it looks with the Twixter and on its own. Now we add effects, so I'm going to add Tritone to make it get like a more bluey kind of look. Like that, but we can up the midpoint so it's more bright you can 
this actually I want to keep the white bits the black bits you can change the black color but I don't want to do that so I'm going to keep it like that then we're going to add ignite super glow and you can also tint it so you can tint it to make it more white if you wanted to, like that, or you can do red, which actually doesn't look that bad. You can do blue. You can do any colour you want, but I'm just going to put the tint to a low amount. And then you can add rays to it if you wanted to. For example, raise and then the threshold. But yeah, that's basically how you make the Gojo text. Um, very simple. And then I'm going to do two more tutorials after this for the Molob one. I'm going to put like an image um, to show. Molob and then Sanchez. And then maybe some other ones as well. Like mollobs and kind of thing. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed.